Hey guys, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick follow-up update in regards to iOS 12.2 Beta 2. Apple released a software close to a week ago. I've had time to test the battery, the performance, come across a few bugs, and I wanted to share with you guys before we get the next beta to see if Apple will improve on the software. So the first thing I want to talk about is the lock screen. A lot of you guys have been talking about this. The battery percentage is stuck there. You don't get the date. That's definitely a bug. It's been reported, and Apple will be fixing that. So normally when you plug your iPhone, to charge on the lock screen you will see the actual percentage and then it flips back to the date you see there it's stuck on the percentage and apple will be fixing that's definitely a bug that's been submitted i've also noticed some additional bugs uh this one with the volume hud here right here you see that i'm turning up and down the volume and if i click on the ringer here uh, it says volume still says volume and if i click it back it says a ringer but when i put the ringer up it actually says volume again so it's actually confusing now if i go to settings and adjust here the actual button that controls this right here so right now this is the actual volume that's being controlled if i toggle this on it should say ring and should adjust the ringer but it still says volume so definitely definitely a bug there as well the ringer uh, just continues to say volume and it's a little confusing at times so another performance issue i've noticed within safari is when inputting urls or doing a google search that doesn't happen all the time but the keyboard sort of freezes and when i'm typing the letters don't show up in time it's not that big of a deal but there's definitely a lag and again it doesn't happen all the time I'm just going to start typing different letters here and you may notice a delay from the letters in the input on the keyboard let's try it here you see that delay that's what I'm talking about so a minor delay there within Safari when inputting uh, URLs now another thing I've noticed about the lock screen is some notifications do not light up the lock screen and you may be thinking well maybe your settings are wrong no I tried multiple times applications like YouTube applications like Twitter I would get a notification the screen would not light up but if I tap on the screen it would actually show there was a notification there if I actually notified myself send myself notifications to test this and some notifications are just not lighting up the lock screen so there's an issue there as well now unfortunately i do have to say ios 12.2 has not been the best software for me as you see here it just gets stuck on some screens here in settings in safari you see that typing delay we see the bugs within the lock screen notification bugs and not only that but unfortunately the battery has been impacted as well with beta 2 i'm losing on a good hour of on-screen time so i'm pushing six and a half maybe seven seven and a half hours of on-screen time depending on the usage and it's a bit unfortunate i mean it is beta software but uh, i would hope for apple to improve upon ios 12.2 because we are getting a lot of cool features with this software so by the time apple pushes this software hopefully it will be all ironed out so let's go ahead and run a benchmark here to see the cpu performance and i'll be right back 48 11 is going to be the single core score in 10,913. those are actually good numbers although we do have uh, some bugs and hiccups within the software that is to be expected let's talk about ios 12.2 beta 3 and when we can expect that well normally apple has a two-week release cycle for betas when they're starting out so uh, we're on beta 1 beta 2 we had a two weeks release cycle beta 3 could be changing that so we could see beta 3 as early as tomorrow the 12th if we don't see it apple may push another two week cycle release and then we'll see it on the 19th or so and then from there we'll go back to a one week release cycle and then this software will be pushing out to the public i want to say the first week of march or the second week of march at the latest maybe even the last week of february who knows how many betas we'll uh, see for this software but i'm thinking maybe four maybe even five for 12.2 and that about brings it into this video thank you guys for watching my follow-up on ios 12.2 beta 2 and i'll see you guys on the next one peace